Well, hello there, Coffee Time friends. Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. I'm John, this is Mama, in case you don't know us. I don't know. <laughs> we are getting some new folks on here, but I think y'all know us. Tonight, Mama has put the rest of that pork tenderloin that I cut up for pork chops the other day in the crock pot. And the only thing she put in it, it, she seared it uh, on each side in an iron skillet. And then she put a whole Dr. Pepper. You can use as much Dr. Pepper as you want. If you want to pour it out of a two liter, use about 12 ounces or 16 ounces. What would you use? 20 ounce bottle. Whatever them bottles. 20 ounce bottle. And I put a cup of coffee in it. And when I came home, because Mama says she didn't know if I wanted Dr. Pepper and coffee, but the coffee does something totally different. It tenderizes it and gives it a little flavor. So I did that. So all she did was salt, pepper. Did you put butter or olive oil? I just uh, put vegetable oil in the skillet to brown it and salt and pepper. Vegetable oil in the skillet. And when it browned, then I added uh, some water and Dr. Pepper. And we're going to have these French style green beans. And I'm just going to do those, put them in, in a thing and heat them up. Mommy, you're going to do that so we can. And then we're going to have some brown rice. That's it. That's supper tonight. Crock pot. How long you have that in there, Mama? Oh, what time did you come? About two something. About two something. And it's about 6.30 now, or 6.22. So two, three, four, five, six, about four hours and a half. That pot, pork roast is in there. Cooking in Dr. Pepper and coffee, salt, and pepper. Now you can't beat that for a quick and easy recipe. Hello there, Vicki Payne. How are you? From Greensville, Georgia. Hey, Brad. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Cindy. Hello from Mississippi. Drop a line in there. Tell us where you're from. We love, Mama loves, this one of her favorite things to say. Did you know that we got people watching from uh, Ireland? Or we got people, so just drop us a line there and say where you're from. Love y'all so much. Judy, we love y'all too. Uh, hi, John and Mama. Teresa, hello from icy Western Arkansas. Ugh. I hope we don't get your eyes this way, Lisa, because... I have declared that winter's over and we're ready for spring. Spring has sprung in my heart and I'm ready for it to go to the weather. <laughs> we had some snow the other morning unexpected and I was like, mm, mama looks beautiful. Mama's all dressed up in her um, long vest. It's a crochet looking vest. Mama, you didn't crochet that, did you? Oh, no. Could I lie and say I did? Uncle Charlie's Tenderloin is the best. You buy a whole box, freeze it. Patricia, I hadn't tried that. Uh, hey, Christy McDaniel Matthews, how are you? From Crosby, Texas. Hey, Miss Linda. Folks, we are cooking quick and easy and simple tonight, for sure. Uh, let me go over a few Tupperware things. I put it in the post, so you people who don't like so much of the Tupperware coverage, I'm not doing a lot of demonstrations tonight. I really am not. But here's the thing. I'm torn between, I'm obligated to the people who love Tupperware to let you know tonight's it on February specials. So you've been seeing them. I've been posting them. The brochures posted on the Coffee Time page. Um, this favorite knife that I use all the time, it's $23. That's a steal on that. This favorite ladle that we use is just $8. That's a great deal on that. We'll be using that when we dip this gravy here in a little while. We've got the cutting board for $25. I've got my iPad here. I can show you. So here is the knife. It's only $23. That is the ladle for eight. Here's the cutting boards, $25. Those are quick and easy. You can put them in any drawer, pull them out. There's the measuring cut for $29. Um, I didn't want to pull all this stuff out and have it everywhere. And it would just take a lot longer. And this wasn't our intent tonight. Hello, John and Mama from North Carolina. This is Eden. Hope you both are feeling much better. We are Patricia, and we thank you all for the prayers. Uh, we say it all the time, and we mean it all the time. You pray for us, and we'll pray for you, and that's what gets us through. And we know you're all's prayers. We could feel the prayers coming in from you all, and we knew that you all were praying for us, and uh, it, it really helped, and it helped us to know that. Uh, we're feeling, I think, we're both fully recovered. I took Mama to the doctor yesterday. And the doctor's exact words were, Mama, you have such good color. So she was excited to see Mama looking better. And, and uh, I think she's pronounced this over the COVID. Um, so she said a lot of people, it did take a lot longer. She said, I could have had long haulers. But unfortunately, she has seen people that's had it for a year, folks. And I was dropping about a month. I feel so bad for being so selfish. Um, I am just 
you know, I've always meant it when I said I was praying for folks. But once you've had it and you know what they're really going through, you know, you might say extra special prayer and say, you know, I know I've been there. But um, a year of re return symptoms, I hope I'm not that person. And what was she talking about, the man with the... COVID fog that you talked about. Oh, yeah. It, it's it's almost like a neurological thing that his, he just isn't thinking as much. And she was just telling some episodes of some bad cases. With it. So y'all just pray for all those folks. I mean, we really need to remember them and lift them up. Uh, pray for my pinched nerve, Patricia. We oh, will. Wow. Uh, for two weeks. Oh, nerves. Nerves will get you. Hello from North Carolina. How are you? Hey, Krista Davis, thank you for those stars. Y'all are just so kind. Sleet and snow. No, Gayla, not sleet and snow in southwest Kansas. I'm telling you, folks, I'm ready for this March turnaround. Uh, what's the other saying? If March comes in like a lamb, it'll go out like a lion. If it comes in like a lion, it'll go out like a lamb. I know we got another few days uh, before it gets here Tuesday. I'm just anxious to see how it's going to go out and come in because uh, I sure hope it comes in good it goes out good let's see if we can break that spell a few more little temporary things the bread server the one i showed you the other night we've got it sitting right here i could show it to you it's twenty dollars i'm just showing these right quick this is twenty dollars here's a little uh server for the uh party it comes apart oh mama's right the bread thank you mama whoops we meant to do that <laughs> Here's the bread server. It does come with a lid. Look how much room is in that. That's just a small loaf of bread. Where the, I guess the regular loaf is not the two pound loaf. See, there's plenty of room for maybe another little piece of bread or something. But you can use these. I like to use our mama's old bread server, the orange one. It's a little bit shorter than that one. We use it for potato salad or something for going to a picnic or something. It makes a big serving dish. But all this right here, you can take a screenshot. These are on sale tonight, and as long as they last. Um, we still have the Fridge Smart, the four piece set, Fridge Smart with a $50 purchase. So if you're planning on buying something anyway, don't forget this $39 Fridge Smart set. There's all four pieces. There's two of those and two of those, the smaller one and the large one. I've been telling you about, but I never have drug them up to show y'all. If you like the little air glass salt and pepper shakes, they are on sale for nine dollars these are the small ones some of y'all don't like the larger ones those are good for the stove but you want something smaller for by the uh for the table those little red ones are great for that i didn't realize how much this changed the lighting on my phone uh, and then the special surprise box don't want anybody to be confused but that the things listed are just suggestions that could be in there to let you know the quality there are no guarantees uh, so, the surprise box could have a canister set, or it could have the cellular salad bowls, but there's no guarantees. But the only guarantee is that there is a $75 value worth of Tupperware, and you only pay $39 for it. I can't wait to see what's in it. Um, I've ordered these in times past, and I love them. They're just special, and they'll put stuff in there, sometimes new items that's not even been in the magazine before, or the catalog before, and sometimes it's... Uh, stuff you missed and you wish you had bought. Uh, so it's just a special little thing. This little stuff here, the pitcher, this cheer pitcher, it's coming back in another color. The dark navy blue one is won't be. It'll be a different color. The plates, those will be a different color. The cake server for $39, a round cake taker, it'll be in a different color. The cupcake taker will be in a different color. The large hourglass salt and pepper shakers will be in a different color. They're $19. And the butter set in the the two butter sets, the uh, large and the in the uh, small, will be in different colors. They're $9, $11. So I'm just going to show you these right quick off the iPad. So there's the sheer picture. This ain't the best way. I apologize. But just giving you an idea, that's the only thing I'm trying to do. I couldn't drag out all this stuff to show you. But I just want you to make you aware of it. Tonight, the last night. Uh, and there's that special surprise box for $39. Now, one piece of Tupperware will cost you that. This is going to be $75 worth or $74 worth. $75 value. Over $75 value for only $39. That's what it says right there. But there's no guarantees. Let me go on record. The little suggestions are not what you're actually getting in there. 
those are just things that could be in there. So make sure we all know that. Um, so I think that's, there's just all kinds of stuff in there. I'll post Mama's link un under in the comments as soon as we um, get them. And I'm going to be carving up this beautiful pork roast. As soon as I put the fork, that's where it goes. Because right there. I've got, I've got a purple stand right here. Look here. Look at that beauty. Now that, folks, is a beautiful pork roast. And it's made with a 20 ounce bottle of Dr. Pepper in the crock pot. And it's made with about a 12 ounces of, of a coffee. And it's made with salt and pepper. Now that's the extent of that beauty right there. And uh, Mama's got the green beans already done. And we're having French style green beans and uh, some Uncle Ben's 90 second rice because we love it. And it's so quick and simple. Mama does make rice. But now, um, sometimes we just need uh, sausage. Mama will come and eat with you, Shannon, because she loves sausage and biscuits and gravy. That's Mama's favorite breakfast. If you only gave Mama one thing, give her a sausage and biscuit. If you give her two things, throw some gravy in there. Isn't that right, Mom? Yeah. Mama will eat eggs, but she don't have to. I it's like, eh, I'm all right without them. Sometimes she'll ask me. Well, actually, sometimes she'll fix breakfast, and then I'll say, Mama, you ain't going to do no eggs? Well, I didn't think about them. I didn't care for them. And I, and I said, well, I'm going to fix me a fried one. She said, well, fix me one. So she eggs ain't high on mama's priority list sometime or the mama. No. Sometimes I'll say, Mama, I'm gonna fix the egg sandwich. She'll say, I can't stand the thoughts of eating the egg right now. I just want a, a sausage biscuit. So sometimes eggs like an all right. And sometimes, like I said, I just I don't care much for them either. Oh, you love eggs. You absolutely. I honestly, honestly, I'm not saying this. I think I could eat eggs, scrambled eggs, toast, and tomatoes at least, at least four times a week. Uh, it wouldn't get a bit tired of them. I love them. And I use the tomatoes instead of jelly or something sweet. Mama, what have you done? Mama's got a or spill over over here. That's my crazy. Now that's all I'm going to cut and I'll tell you why. Mom and I won't eat but a piece of that. And I will shred the rest of this and I'll shred if there's any of that left too and I'll have pork barbecue too. We'll show you that tomorrow night. But look at that beautiful roast and you all know this was um, eight dollars was it mama? What was it? Some of y'all tell me. Like Ate something. We've already eaten pork chops out of it once. I fixed four. We had two that night for supper. The next morning, I warmed them up and had them for breakfast. So we had two meals. We froze two, two meals worth. And now we're going to eat this. And then we will have sandwiches at least once, probably twice. So that was a good buy on a pork roast. Some of y'all said, and oh mercy, I wish we could get pork roast that cheap. You were talking about like a five pound or a two pound one was nine or ten dollars. I guess we should just be fortunate that we are getting things at the price we're getting them because there are other folks that out there, and a, some of them are uh, you that just are having trouble. This was on the one day special. But 99% of our meats come from the one day special uh, at our store. And uh, we buy it up, we pack it up, and we try to stretch it as far as we can. Uh, Mom and I don't eat a lot at one time. I mean, I know I'm a big guy, but I don't eat that much at one time. I, when I get full, I'm done. So this is one of those situations where one piece is great and we won't eat much more. So we'll eat a piece of this tonight. Um, might save a piece in the morning and, and um, fry it a little bit, brown it on each side and have it with a, a fried egg and a piece of toast. Um, but we will use this for sandwiches next. That's what happens to it next, is some pork barbecue sandwiches. And it's delicious, we love it. 
Now here's Mama's green beans out of the can. Mama usually does her own. But we like these because they're just the green part and they're the French cut green beans. It's good sometimes, most of the time, you know, we're creatures of habit. Most of the time when we have these kind of green beans, it is with a pork roast. I don't know why we think it has to go with pork roast, but that's what we do, ain't it, Mama? Yeah, this was just simple and quick tonight. And Mama's got gravy. Mama, show them there what you got. So Mama made up some quick brown gravy. You wanna tell us about that? This is where I browned the roast in the skillet and I poured a little water in there uh, to get the drippings off the bottom to make that brown. And so I'm gonna pour it over my meat and maybe my rice. If the Dr. Pepper ain't made it real sweet. I'm sure it's good, Mama. Okay, so what we'll do is I will Take a little bit of rice. Oh, you, know, you need a spoon. Now. I can use this fork. Here, we'll give you. Mama says, "Don't embarrass me in front of my friends." So using a fork, trying to get rice out. That's why. Why did you, John? I'd be like me trying to use chopsticks to get rice out. Okay, hardly do this with a fork. This is just Uncle Ben's quick and easy 90 second rice, brown rice. This is, and I'm just going to put a little bit on our plate. And mm, that smells good. Put a little bit on our plates, just like this. And somebody asked me the other night, said, "Why do you always fix Mama's plate?" I don't know. I guess I have for years because Mama usually never lights long enough to make her own. So while she was waiting on Dad and. Um, I'll, I would fix her plate, my plate, and when she gets... Oh, you're overloading me. Mama. Oh, I don't hear your fancy stack at night. Well, it's you going to pour your gravy over it, Mama? Yeah. She's so easy to please. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Well, look at her. This is the way I'm fixing Mama's plate. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I know. This is what I'm fixing my mama. I know. I'm putting a little bit of pork on it, just like this. Then, I'm going to... Ladle a little bit of gravy. I want you to taste of that gravy before you drown it down. Mama, it'll be. I've smelled it, Mama. If it needs salt, I can put a sprinkle of salt. So I'm just going to put this hot gravy right over that pork. Just like this and that rice. Look how good. Do you want gravy, Mama? Yeah, on my rice. Well, where do you want me to put it, Mama? I don't want to. Just right over that rice. Here we go, Mama. Mm -hmm. That's how you want? Yeah, for right now. You don't want none of that pork? Not right now. I may not eat all that pork. Yes, ma'am. And here's just some French style green beans. They now, were quick and easy. Someone asked about eating healthy. Pork is healthy, and so is. I've lost my ability to move my camera a little bit. Mama, what are we doing? We, we are not I'm in the same. <laughs> <We're too close. laughs> we, we can't get sick. This is our first video, folks. Oh. We, <laughs> not hardly. Uh, we're going to bless it and then we'll leave it. But that is supper, folks. That is quick and easy. And as I was saying, that's a pretty healthy meal. Uh, pork is fairly healthy. Rice is pretty good. It's well, not low carb. Pork is the other white meat. Uh huh. In those green beans, and that is supper. That's all we're having right there, folks. And we're gonna drink water. Oh yeah, and I didn't get it, but we'll get it. Let's let's bless our food. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful privilege to sit here and eat this food. Dear Lord, we just thank you for the nourishment of our bodies, and thank you for these precious hands, Lord, that prepared it. And we just. Pray for all the prayer requests. Pray for each and every person watching all the prayer requests and, and the needs on their heart. Lord, and we ask you to answer all those in your time and your glory and your plan. In your name we pray. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. Let me sample your cookings. I can't, I can't wait to taste that pork. That Dr. Pepper, it has got so many tastes in it, so many flavors. Is it like 40 flavors or something in Dr. Pepper? It just makes that pork so good. Uh, and then the coffee just tenderizes it and makes it even better. The gravy needs salt. The gravy could use a, a dash, dash 
of salt. I didn't add no more because I was afraid you would be too salty. Let me get you some, Mama. Here's your napkin. Okay. So here is the salt. And here is the pepper. Did you know that if someone asks you to pass the pepper or pass the salt, you're supposed to pass both? Did y'all know that? I did. We didn't have that in the Southern Etiquette book. But I did learn that, and I thought, well, I don't know if I've always been etiquettely correct when I've been out places, because somebody says, how many salt? I had them salt. I didn't know you were supposed to pass both. We was taught to say thank you, but I didn't know about passing both. Uh-huh, you're supposed to pass both of them. Almost what they say. Folks, you are... Let's sketch it up just a touch. What are y'all eating tonight? Hello from North Alabama. Where'd that go? Teresa, how are you? I talked to our Teresa today from Etsy. And she's going to do a lucky package for March. And there will be a lucky code that you can put in. And I'll give you more details. She just said, we're working on a March package. And I said, I can't oh, wait. St. Patrick's Day lucky package. A lucky package. And don't forget, there's a few more days left on the apron uh, cup combo. Talked to her this morning. I said, how's it going? She said, people are really enjoying this combo. So we're glad you're enjoying it. It's a good deal. And next month will be a lucky deal. She's, I don't know all the details. I just know they're working on it. And I know she said she'd give me the code. She'd give me the information. And I'll share it with y'all just as soon as she does. So uh, that's that. Let's try these green beans, Mama. They look good. Now, I, those green beans, I don't know why. I like them better than regular canned green beans, but they've got that that green taste to them, not because it's so, there's not a lot of bean to them, it's the French style, but it's just a good green vegetable to go with pork and rice. Another thing, and Mama and I talked about this earlier today, I wasn't sure if she was going to fix it or not, we love to get just a jar of applesauce. Oh, I didn't fix it. Well, that's fine, Mama. Since I was fixing the rice, I didn't yeah, we get a jar of applesauce. This handle's caused me all kinds of problems there. And uh, we put it on the stove and we cook it and we put those cinnamon curls in it, stir it in, let it, it get ready. We love it with pork. We love it with pork. And Mama just kind of forgot what's going to talk about that. But anyway, we'll fix that for you sometime too. And it's so simple. You put sugar in it, Mama? Usually the candies make it sweet enough, but sometimes you'll get some that will. Mm -hmm. It'll require a little sugar. <clears throat> so just a jar of plain old applesauce and put about, how many of those cinnamon pearls in a jar? I usually end up putting a bag. Putting a small bag in a minute. And you just let them melt in there and it turns it so cinnamon and so good. And if you think it needs a little sugar, you can, but it's good with any pork. We love it. I like it sometimes if, you know, if you got a sore throat, you're not feeling the best, that cinnamon applesauce is soothing. And cinnamony and warm. We like that. Mama, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've cheated and brought Sunday dinner, Southern yeah. Sunday dinner to, a, to a Wednesday night. And y'all, now the roast has been cooking all day, but everything else she done while we've been talking. Mama fixed every, the green beans and the rice and the gravy she started up over there while we were talking. And that's what we've done. Mm-mm-mm. The -mm. rice over the gravy is really... Ah! The gravy over the rice. The gravy over the pork and the rice is delicious, Mama. But we know you didn't want that. Mm -hmm. What was it you said? My fancy stuff? Oh. Then I was going to do some fancy stuff. Fancy eating. That's fancy eating. When you put your pork on your rice and then pour gravy over it. That's what mama says. I didn't know if I was going to eat that much meat or not. Mm -mm -mm. Folks, 
We are still selling cookbooks. I'm still getting that question a lot. We've got them. Just send them in to uh, $17. And it's, you can make a check out. You can make it out to OMBC, which stands for Oswego Missionary Baptist Church. You can make it out to John uh, Davis if you want to, or or Tootsie Davis, or Francis Davis. Mm -hmm. We do not cash your check. It will be deposited, direct deposit, in the bank in the church account. So they don't ever really question whatever it's made out to, as long as it's indicated and they, they know. So... Um, they're $17 that cover shipping in all in the USA. And uh, we'll get them out to you. And we're caught up. Mama's within days. And um, we are. Days, Mama says she's behind a few days. But she, uh, she's talking about yesterday and today. So um, they are still available. We still, do, we still have them. And we're still doing them. Um, we've gotten a few Dear John and Mama letters. And we've gotten a few uh kids recipes so keep those coming we want your we want to ask we want you to ask your child whatever age uh two three four however long put they can talk put their age on there and their name if you don't want us to say their name don't put it on there and just say my child give me this but uh, just ask them like what's your favorite meal maybe their favorite meal is gravy how do you make gravy and let them whatever they tell you write it down First you get it skillet, then you put whatever they think. That's the fun of it, just to see what goes through their mind. How do you make macaroni and cheese? And they'll tell you. How do you make hamburgers, hot dogs, whatever's your favorite? How do you make a pizza? And they'll tell you, and we're we'll, gonna and we'll read their recipe on air. We probably won't be able to cook their recipes. <laughs> like 16 hours for macaroni and cheese is a little long. But we will read them and they'll be fun. Um, also, hey mama. If you want to do a Hey Mama joke, or your kid has one, then please put it on here. A lady wrote me last night and said her and her 11-year-old uh, watch uh, Coffee Time, and she feels good about it because she knows it's going to be clean, and she don't have to worry about any words. Or... Mom and I try to keep everything child-proof, uh, wow. and that's what it's for. We want you to sit down with your children. We want your children to be interested in cooking. And if your child's already interested in cooking, by all means... Drop us a line. Tell us what, uh, what they like. Tell us uh, a joke. Tell us a recipe. If you have an older child, um, we want to hear their recipes too. Maybe they cook something. Send that recipe in, and we may even be able to cook those because I'm sure they won't be macaroni and cheese for 16 hours. We want your kids involved with you, and we want it to do it through Coffee Time with John and Mama. So... Maybe you can um, get with them and do a recipe, and maybe you can share it with us and uh, send a picture, maybe a Polaroid or uh, something, and we will share it with you all. I promised you all, and I have not followed through. Uh, we're going to do the Dorito uh, meal Saturday. I might jump back on here tonight oh, and give you the details and when it's going to be, and we'll get the stuff because tomorrow is Thursday that'll give you two days, three days, and then we'll do the Dorito casserole on Saturday. And I'll get you the ingredients. I'll try to do that a little later when I get the cookbook and I write it all out. So we'll do our ingredients tonight, and then that'll give you two days to prepare, and then we'll cook it Saturday together. And then we can eat taco salad together. I looked through the cookbook. I believe it's the new one. And I found them two ingredient biscuits the lady told you about. Mm, okay. The flour and, the, and I had the page number in my mind, but I forgot it. Okay. But we'll try that again. We'll try that. Folks, we're going to say, find you something good to eat and make you some memories. Stick around. I'll come back on a little later. And if your phone dings, your notification, you'll say, finally, he's going to give us those ingredients. I just got in from work a minute and I forgot all about it when we was doing this. I think it's page 25. I think it was page 25 if you have the cookbook. It's great. But I come it's home and I smell right. this pork and I see all that good stuff. And you think of Dorito casserole from Saturday coming into my mind? I was worried about tonight's <laughs> supper. Y'all have a good evening. I'll check back in a little bit later. Good see y'all. Bye. Bye, Mama. God bless you. Bye bye.